Well, hello there everybody. Welcome back to Solendra, the vintage experience. So it's been a while, hasn't it? But I am back. Now, if you guys obviously have been following what's been going on, the wife and I have been extremely busy decorating our new place and then moving in and then I've had no setup or anything like that to record videos but I feel like I'm there but I do want your advice or opinions should I say on what the quality is like because I have always um, I tell you what what I'm going to do and then I can talk and work at the same time we're still in the same game day as where we left off and the reason being i was just tidying up everything i thought i'd just check the prices because this was originally saying that canola is supposed to be best in december we are still in november but look at the price 2198 and it's supposed to be around 2187 so we'll go and sell that so we need to grab our tractor and like i say i've had a little bit of a tidy up I have um, off-hired the lime spreader. I don't think we really need it yet for a while. I unloaded the lime there, as you can see. So yeah, we will go and sell this canola and then we'll sleep through the night, I think, and then we'll crack on with some new work on our farm. And you've probably guessed what's coming up by the thumbnail. But anyway, getting back to what I was just saying, I've got a setup going now. Now, I've always run my consoles through a TV. I've got a monitor now, and I'm very impressed with the picture, to be honest with you. I've got a, well, what I think is a decent monitor. I was asking some people that were pretty clued up with all that. And I've got an MSI one, which is, well, pretty good specs, I think. And to me, the picture looks really good. I've done a few tests on YouTube. I recorded a couple of, well, quite a few actually, different videos. Only two, three minutes long, uploaded them to YouTube and then watched them back just to hear what the audio was like and also the picture now the audio I set my mic up a little bit further away than what I normally or have been using in my temporary setup and I thought it sounded very echoey and I'm hoping it is just because the mic was too far away because I'm hoping it's not this room. I'm only in a little box room. Right, where's this trigger? There it is. Right, what are we doing? Let me, we want to customize that and put that back to a trailer. So that is that. Uh, yeah, I'm only in the spare room, which is a box room. So I don't think it's going to be the room. I think it was just where I had the mic too far away. But I wanted it to, it's on a boom arm, I wanted it to be sort of up and out of the way, but I tried different scenarios and in the end I moved the mic a lot closer to sort of how I had it before. And it didn't sound too bad if I'm honest, and that is where we've got it now, it is quite close to me. It's a little bit annoying because it's still going to need to be sort of moved out of the way once I've finished recording and packing up otherwise I know what's going to happen the wife's going to bang into it and whatnot so yeah if you give me any sort of feedback whether it's negative or positive that would be greatly appreciated and then I know if I need to do any adjustments I'm hoping the picture is going to be fine because um, if you're not aware these are uh, done a lot of research guys I do tend to sort of go over the top when I buy anything like this monitors TVs gadgets and things and I've picked one of these MSI ones because they do actually have not all of their monitors do but some of them do a console mode and this one has that 
and it's supposed to, I believe, automatically sort of adjust to your settings. And I've also put the PS5 settings onto performance mode. I've been looking up on MSI's website about what they sort of suggest. Um, where are we actually taking this? Le Jardin de Farmers, that's over there. So yeah, anyway, that's where we're at. So it's been a little bit of trial and error today. So it's now reasonably late and later than what I'd hoped to be recording this. I was hoping to get some episodes or videos out today, but I don't think that's going to happen now because it's getting a bit late. Anyway, let's back this up into there. But that's enough about me waffling on. I know it has been a long time and I hope you guys have all been well. What was that? 3,292. Awesome. Let me just pull this out of the way because there's something else I want to do here. It's a little bit odd. Um, yeah, I've had some awesome messages and comments in regards to, you know, me being away from not recording that. So thanks for all the support, guys. I've just noticed those lines are floating. That's a bit weird, isn't it? There's a collectible round here somewhere. You can't actually see it. I may have to turn the help menu on, but it's somewhere in here, I think, stuck in this brick wall. It's not up on the roof. But it's somewhere about there. So that gives us another grand, doesn't it? So happy days. Right, what we'll do is I'll take this trailer and tractor back to the yard. We'll seek through the night and I will see you, well, depending on what the weather's like, tomorrow, maybe in the morning, maybe a little bit later. We will see. But I will see you in December well hello there welcome back we are now into December we had a little bit of rain this morning but as soon as that cleared up I cracked on and I was busy so what I did is we had weeds in this field in our sorghum field as you can see it's start to come through already happy days so I tackled the weeds I just least the weeder that we used in that field and then I've given it its second stage of fertilizer so that is good to go that should be a very good yield off of that field obviously this one I did mess up I forgot to lime it but it shouldn't be too bad but we'll get something for it now I'm heading over this way because I do have oats our oats are sat in this trailer here ready to go because I've been monitoring the prices and again even though it's saying oh January there 1929 1075 so we're gonna sell them now I think they possibly could go up more than that in January but they might not we might get a little bit stitched up again like we did with the canola and it will change because those price predictions do fluctuate don't they but we'll go and sell this and then we need to really get going because there's quite a bit to do we might not be able to get all of it done but I'd like to get the gist of it done all the sea money permitting so we are heading um, I might as well drive up in there, haven't I? Because I can go out this way. Like so. It's probably someone's drive, but never mind. Right, we shouldn't get a lot for that. It's, but ah, almost two grand. That is good. That will pay for something. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to head down to the shop. I will leave the trailer there for a second. They don't mind me leaving it there. And then we're going to grab ourselves a mower. Or something like a mower, hopefully. 
got to see what they've got that suits our sort of play style. So we'll drop that off. I'll swing around there. I will go and see that's looking a little bit filthy. I will go and see what they have for us. Hopefully something old and weird looking. I asked him for something old and weird and he put a mirror in front of my face which I thought was very nasty. But anyway, here we have, look at this, what is that? I've never used this before but it looks, wow it looks interesting doesn't it, very vicious, there's the cutting bar down there, wow. It's a little bit more expensive than the one I was hoping for, but they didn't have that available. They've lent that out to someone else, so we'll hook on up to this guy. Wow, that is... That is insane. Right, let's get on up to our grass fields. Now, obviously our grass field on the left as we look at the sheep pen that is the one that we've planted ourselves so that should be the best yield but I'm gonna feed the sheep the grass from the right field the one which is just directly behind them and they are only going to get grass so I'm not going to mess around um, tedding it turn it to hay they can just have grass and then I think any other grass that's left over we will round up and we'll put it in the bunker silo over by the cow shed oh we can go this way I'm not quite sure if I've mentioned that in the earlier part of this video because I am actually recording this over two days and it's been a little bit of a busy hectic weekend so I don't really know whether I'm coming or going at the minute these days <laughs> so I do apologize if I have repeated myself so I think we will get all the grass cut and then we can return this mower because I have only leased it so this is ours I we'll try and stay within the fields because I don't know how forgiving the boundaries will be. Right, I don't think we have to lower this. No, it's not lowering, so we just cut, do we? Oh, well, it's cutting and it's leaving some bits. I'm a little bit off course there. I can tidy that up but off we go I think I'll go up into that mode wow this look at how fast this is going <laughs> oh my goodness we're gonna get this done in no time at all how good at turning is it that's pretty good as well wow This is good, this is good. Shouldn't take us too long, should it? Let's just grab that side that I missed. There probably will be a couple of little tufts here and there, but that's probably because we're going a bit fast. So what do we think of that? Look at that thing. Like I say, it's a little bit pricey for us, uh, so that's why I've leased it. I do have a cheaper mower in there, but it's not available as of yet. Pro probably will look to buy a mower somewhere in the future. Because, obviously, as I said, probably seen the thumbnail, we are going to get some sheep. So we are definitely going to need grass all the time I'll tell you what I am quite impressed with this mower 
I think because we don't lift it up we have to turn it off and then turn it back on how cool is this that is a very very old looking mower isn't it really is excuse the dodgy camera angles but that has whizzed through that and I think we'll just do our little grass field over there that won't take us too long I'm not too worried about these little tufts they can they can live to towel a towel that's not even the saying is it? I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> they can live to see another day that would do all right like I say this should be pretty good grass over this side I think we went up round there didn't we and then round the trees right this is going to be a little bit iffy camera wise oh no not too bad we'll stay away from that sort of edge I think we're on our boundary there happy days this is pretty good all right let's turn that off and we'll spin round I mean obviously we should be trying to get every single blade of grass we can get with our budget at the minute but um I just think the way this mower is going so quick it's it's a little bit tricky to steer and try and get everything but and I think we probably could push out a little bit especially up here in this corner but I'm not going to we're just going to grab what we've cut I will try and grab a few more extra bits here where I've missed them so pretty good I don't know what happened there I think I must have missed a little bit and we'll just finish this bit off and then I will take this mower back and then I think we will well we're gonna to have to grab some sheep aren't we we'll have a look at that a second because if it's cheaper to get them delivered we will do that but I don't think it will be I think we should be able to grab ourselves something and again we'll just lease it I'm gonna lease things for now right we'll turn that off I mean these little bits here we could probably mow but I'm going to leave it for now we can sort that out another time so sheep wise I'm going to go for the older ones just for the fact that I would like to get them producing wool a bit better and obviously reproducing now the question is I think we'll go with the guys with the little black faces I like them they're pretty because I always go for these normally or wow I've had, I've had all of them at some point anyway stop that that's nonsense um can we afford 10 five grand so that's going to cost us 500 to have them delivered i'm pretty sure we can source something i've got this fella downloaded now that will only hold two sheep so we'll have to go five times and obviously the animal dealer he's right down by our farm but again that's not miles away is it um not interested in changing anything i can't even see what the difference is there trailer hitch 186 that is a no-brainer right we will lease that now 
what I will do guys is I will um, I'll take this back and I'll bring you back in I probably will bring you back in when I'm bringing the last two sheep up so at least you can see the um, trailer going along because you don't want to see me going backwards and forwards five times and then we need to feed them as well so yeah I will bring you back in now in terms of picking the grass up I'll, I'll sort that out later but I will see you in a bit guys Right, we're just heading back down to the animal dealer to grab our last load. I have mixed it up a little bit. I decided, well, I did three loads and I thought we don't really need to have all the same breed in there. So, I've got a couple of brown ones in there now. And I think we'll pick up some of the Welsh black mountain ones or whatever they're called. So we'll pull in like so, that back should open, like so, and we'll go and speak to George if he's still here, is he still here? Here he is, yeah a couple of year old, um, you know, and there we go, they don't look too happy do they, but you're going to a good home, trust me you are let's get that back closed up don't look so scared i will look after you do not panic right let's not try and run down some of their ancestors and then let's head on back up to the sheep pasture There they all are, look. Yeah, we got some new friends for you. <laughs> so there's eight in there at the minute. Let's quickly get these doors open and get this backed in before they start running out. Oh, here comes one. Stay in there. Out you go. And we'll move them in. Pull away like so. Let's get these doors shut up quick. And there we have it. Ten sheep. Beautiful. Right, we need to feed and water them obviously now I don't know if you've noticed the money has gone down a little bit because I popped into the shop and got us a couple of things to be able to do that I have bought one of the things so that was the water trailer that cost us 1700 so not too bad and that is obviously going to be something that we're going to need especially if we get cows um, and pigs as well so I thought that was probably a pretty good investment oh big bump there and the other thing I've leased very cheap it's only cheap to buy anyway but I think it was 15 euros to lease it <laughs> but I just want to scrape up enough of that grass to feed the sheep and I think that will probably do for today's activities the main thing was to get the sheep and get them going and hopefully they'll start reproducing eventually and producing some wool so that would be pretty good so let's turn in here and I'll show you so there it is it's a hay fork that we've got and a water trailer Now I think what we'll do is we'll grab the water first because 
I'm presuming animals are a little bit like humans. We can survive quite a bit without food, but we can't so much without water. So we'll grab that. Let's just have a quick look at that, because that is quite a nice old classic looking tank. Pretty sweet. And we should be able to fill up by the lake. That lovely lake that we have on our doorstep. Now I'm going to go down this end by that little boat there because I thought I could smell cheese when I drove past there the other day. If you know what I mean. And there it is. Awesome. Um, in fact, we probably could just. Can we fill up from this little bit? I expect we can. Yes, we can. Happy days. I think this holds 2,000 litres, which is pretty good. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to fill their trough. Certainly not if we um, get more. But it will be a start. What I might do is I'll check the feed and water at the end of the episode and then top them up if need be. There we go. That gives us another collectible. So I think that said three more to get. So we know there's one, uh, sorry, two down in that little wooded area. We may venture down there if we have to, just to pick them up. It'd be nice to complete the cheese wedge, won't it, I suppose. I think there's one up in where the stone cell point is. So again, that could be a possibility for us. Right, anyway, let's give these sheep some water. They should have been looked after pretty well by the animal dealer anyway, but they are our responsibility now, so we do need to look after them, and then they will give us back all the goodness I suppose someone's sunflowers there possibly looks like it yeah so that hay fork I'm hoping I just can scoop up enough um, again I'm not sure how many or how much sorry the sheep will take There we go. So their feed troughs go, uh, feed trough, their water trough is going up. Oh, look at that. Awesome. I was worried that that wasn't going to be enough, but 1500 litres of water for 10 sheep. That's not too bad. We'll keep the trailer on us and we'll go and grab that hay fork now. Uh, to be fair, we probably could have left the trailer up here, actually, couldn't we? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just leave it in this bush. <laughs> like so. I know we could top it back up, but it's got 500 litres in. They shouldn't get through too much um, water. We'll monitor that. Soon find out next month. Let's grab this hay fork. I think the feed might be a bit more than 1500 litres of grass though. I think this hay fork should hold around 2000, which is quite a bit. Quite impressed by that. How well it works, I'm not sure. We will soon find out. I think it's only 300 to buy. So if it's decent enough, we may end up purchasing one. But it would be nice to get ourselves... i tell you what, that looks a bit vicious, doesn't it? Whoa. Looks like a 
snake with its fangs hanging out. I'm pretty sure we can. Yeah. Ooh, I need a bit of oil on that. I'm about to tell a shop about that. That was not us. If you're going to lend us things, please make sure they don't squeak like that. Right. Let's go and grab ourselves some grass. Let's try and remember. Let's go down this way. We've got any more honey? I think it's just still that pallet. That's okay, we're not in desperate rush. We're still doing pretty well for money. So that's pretty good. And obviously we still do need to do something with the small little field down by our farm. And then also our little project, which is ongoing. We need to get rid of uh, the other oak trees. I think only one is in our actual boundary. I think the other one comes under that free land that we could sort of purchase. Right now, how is this going to work? Let's just, let's see, I've, I don't think this is going to be very pleasant myself. Oh, we've got, we've got some on there already. Oh, now it's tipping it back out. Um, please don't tip it out. That's probably because we're... Oh, dear. I think we might be going uphill there. Right, let's spin around. The only trouble with this tractor is very slow reversing. That's a bit better. It's not picking up too bad, if I'm honest. I think it's going to be one of those ones where you need to get the right angle. It's missed a few bits there. Um, we'll just carry on like this then and hope that it doesn't tip any more out. Oh, spoke too soon. And we'll just grab a full load. Filling up pretty quick. Now, is this going to tip some of this out? Because we could be going downhill here. So, yeah, it's going to be 2,000 litres. Seem to be pushing it along a bit there. Why is it doing that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, there we go. 2,000 litres. Um, let's clamp it down. Happy days. That's not too heavy either for the tractor, that's pretty good. Wow, look at that, that's pretty smart. Oh, something, um, I think we need to open these doors again because the trough is in there. I don't know how well we're going to get in there. If we can just go to this door, let's open those back up. You stay there, we're going to get some feed, don't worry. There we go. Wow, so they took all of that. I'll put that down. Turn the engine off. I will shut those doors for a second. We'll just check on that, how much they've got. He's having a drink. Good, good. 
So I checked the chickens as well. Um, they're not too bad. They're about halfway for feed. Hopefully, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I think the sorghum's going to be ready quick enough. But anyway, um, 2,000 litres. So I think they will probably take about three. So I'll probably need to grab a bit more, but I can do that off camera in a second. And then the water is full up. Awesome. But there you go, guys. I think we'll leave it there for that episode. Pretty productive. We've got a new animal. Yes, you. We're talking about you. We have sheep. Happy days. And then we've got a load of grass that we need to collect up. I think we'll probably get some sort of little wind rower and then hopefully maybe an old style loading wagon, something like that be a lot easier than using that backwards and forwards over to the um, bunker silo wouldn't it so there we go but that is it guys great to be back hope you all enjoyed this episode if you did please give us a thumbs up if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing that would be awesome and don't forget to smash the bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine I've been Farm Sim Snowy stay frosty